Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to teach you SAS basics. First install SAS and Live SAS compiler. Create an HTML file. Down below in the status bar you will see something called watch SAS. Click that. If you don't see it, press right click and tick this one. Close it. Let's make a folder called SAS and inside let's make a um, scss file inside let's type something up and save now you see the license compiler has created a main.css and a main.css map we have no use for .map file so we're going to open settings and paste this line in i included it in the video description and save now we're going to remove these two I'm going to save it again. Now you see, we'll only get the CSS file. I also want my CSS files to be generated in a separate folder. For that, paste these lines, which is also included in the video description. So, this is the save path that basically means this will generate in a CSS folder right here instead of here. Let's start with some HTML. To learn how to write all of this HTML with just line, check out my Emmet Basics video. Now let's link the CSS. Let's add some text here too. I'm going to imbue the current styles. I got some very basic styles in Vanilla CSS, so I'm is time the section and every div inside that section to select all the divs inside this section we put it inside that section it's basically common sense if we save and take the main css file you see that it is generated as normal css by our extension Let's say I want these divs directly under the section style but not those. This is what you do usually do. So again we use common sense to style the divs under the section directly under the section. We style that like this and if you check it here it is generated like this. Again this is what you would usually do and we take this inside the section now it is generated right here now usually this is what you do to hover but now we are going to cut it and type end and paste that's how you hover same for active or focus same thing with after and before. Just make sure you add the end symbol. Let's say I want to make a lot of things cyan. I'm going to set the color here cyan. I'm going to add the same here. And I want to change the color here to cyan too. Now if I want to change them, I have to separately do it. And if this wasn't a single file, I will be changing a lot of things so for that we have something called variables to define a variable type a dollar sign and the name and I am going to set it to cyan and I am going to use this theme every place that I want to change it I just have to change it once I'm going to create a vast.scs and paste this thing right here. Now I'm going to import it here. And if you change the color, save it here and save it again in here, you change all of that at once. Now let's say I want to use this color again but in another file. 
again I'm going to include the file and use the theme here now I'm going to include this style sheet and now we got our better result and to change that we change it here save it and save this once again now I'm going to add some new styles to this div now I want to add the same things to this div you usually make a new class and add it to both of them or you're going to copy paste this here I'm going to do something in between I'm going to make a new class called silver and paste it here and say add extend dot silver and copy the same thing right here if you want you can make a new file called classes and paste it here import classes and it will work like a charm just like before so those are SAS basics if you liked what you learned please give a like share and subscribe thanks for watching